Hockey out to the far point. Connor Yao with it. Keeps it into the blue line. He takes a big run, and he gets knocked low by Sullivan around the boards. Now Kalk racing out. Kalk's got a stride on his man. Right side, sprinting in. Cross ice pass. Wrist shot. Saved by Hayton. This might be one of the best first periods we've seen from Devin Buffalo all season. He's been just locked in as another And now they give it back for a breakaway. Here comes St. Lawrence in on Buffalo. Shot score. How many times can you put him on an island? Corvo beats him, and it's 1-0 St. Lawrence. Here's a blast. Misses up over the top of Buffalo, who flashed his glove and hoped to come up with it. Instead, Darmid with a breakout. Here's Crema. He's got Warpeck at his right. Wrist shot. Save. Follow-up. Goal! The offensive zone, but it's knocked away from him. St. Lawrence countering. Dahl, the captain, leaves off right to Pritchard. Offensive zone. Bayreuth, the cross-side pass. Back to Bayreuth. They're saved by Buffalo. Follow-up score. Yeah. And St. Lawrence has a 2-1 lead. And skating left to right. He's knocked off the puck. Yao gets to it behind the net, wrapped around the boards. And Lawrence with the puck. And it's Gilmore with it. Near side boards. Pritchard. Cross-ice pass. Out to the point. Slap shot. Score. Pass Devin Buffalo on a deflection. Beat him over his left shoulder. Went through the crease, which is why Sweden was a little bit shaken up there. I didn't really see anything, but uh, it's not really like Jazz. He's not really a dirty player like that. Graber skates uh, in. Wrist shot. Score! Darmot cycles out to Krema. Now Graber sprints down low. Krema right side, 27 seconds to go on the man advantage. Connor Yao drops down low. Jazzik. Jazzik gets a man off his skates. Jazzik feeds one low. Wrist shot. Score! Darmouth wants a win tonight. Connor Yao gets it off the faceoff, back at the point. Far side board, peppered back to Yao. He pauses, high slot, now fires left, wrist shot, SCORE! Puck cleared out of Dartmouth's end, right onto the stick of St. Lawrence back in their end. Ederer with his pass ahead to Marnell, wrist shot, SCORE! Marnell came into the zone, working nicely done by Hessler. Hartley countering, ahead to Opper Blankmeyer, instead he's tied up. Seller was, and the puck back to St. Lawrence. 3.40 to go in this third period. We're tied. Ederer, blast, deflection off of Hartley, and it beats. Really forcing shots coming from outside the circle. Now the first shot we saw. But the shots that Harvard has had have been making Hayden work so far. Out in front of Anderson, got his skate on it to kick it away. Now through the middle, looking for a deflection. Nearly got it. Lawrence into the four seat, but that's still a first round bye and a home matchup in the quarterfinals. Harvard is locked into at least the two seed, and they'll start down to the end boards. Things have slowed down a little bit. Less pace on that attack for Harvard, and it continues. Couple guys change and a score. Harvard takes. Loaded up to the center circle. Harvard with a 2 0 lead. Here's another shot. It's in. Harvard is taking a 3 0 lead. Off the boards, back up to Kerfoot. Harvard not being too aggressive here on this power play. Here's Fox. Had two defenders right in front. Puck is still loose in the crease and a score! Harvard. St. Lawrence does have five shots in this period compared to just four through the opening 20. And there's a big down right near the crease. Pretty hard. He went back to the bench, but not into the locker room. He came fine. Hard shot sails high from Donato. Set up well by Kerfoot. Donato thinks about it again. Shoot, score! Harvard, power, Harvard penalty kill has stayed strong. Couple quick shot attempts, one on target, one wide in the opening seconds of the advantage. Now, quick turnaround and a goal. Sullivan gets. The entirety of their second lines, Esposito, Malone, and Moy, is having fantastic seasons all playing together. Donato spun around. Sullivan lost his stick as he tried to cover Donato. Now Donato sends his stick out, and Madsen has it creep by him. Marnell has his ninth in the ECAC tournament. And won't get to take pictures with a trophy tonight. Madsen has another one sneak by. Gisevich with the goal. He's tried to fire it up. Marnell has a stick on it. 15 seconds left. Sullivan tries to turn and heading up is Donato. Won't have a chance at the empty net, but that brings the clock to 10 seconds. And there's an empty net goal that'll seal it for the Crimson.